This is your CBS News Baltimore update for Sunday, October 13th. I'm Iana Massey. Howard County Police are investigating a possible homicide after a Baltimore man was found dead in a car in Columbia overnight. Police say they found a man in his 20s with multiple gunshot wounds near the 8800 block of Center Park Drive. Right now, it's unclear how or when that man was shot. Police are not releasing the identity as they say they're working to notify family. Well, meanwhile, between the Dr. Patel Drive intersection and one just south of it at Route 1 and Elk Ridge, there have been three pedestrian deaths since 2019. Now, the State Highway Administration says there will be a sp stoplight at this intersection to prevent future accidents. Liz Welsh, who represents District 1 for Howard County, says the community has been pushing to improve pedestrian safety at this location for at least 60 years. No median, not a divided median, not a concrete median, no, no resting place for a pedestrian who's crossing. And at that location where Dr. Patel Drive is, I have six lanes. From something like this, a known safety risk where we kill people at some regular interim has to be top of the list. Dr. Patel Drive has been on the Maryland State Highway Administration's list since 2022. It's one of four locations along Route 1 in Howard County slated for a $3.5 million pedestrian safety project. Recently, environmental permits have held up the progress. Well, attorneys for former Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby want her home detention modified. Mosby's team is asking for a curfew restriction that allows Mosby to leave her home daily between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m., citing her new job and the needs for her to travel throughout the state. As you know, back in May, Mosby was sentenced to 12 months of home detention after she was convicted for her role in perjury, mortgage and fraud convictions. And that's your CBS News Baltimore update. I'm Yana Massey.